Okay, I just shampooed my hair with Garnier Fertis 2-in-1. And I conditioned my hair with Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm. I'm going to straighten out this part first. I'm using my comb that I got from Wynn. I don't even know if I want to put the part down the center. But as a leave-in, I'm going to use the Miss Jessie leave-in condition. Okay. I'm going to use the Barrel Curls Curl Formers, the purple and neon green ones. I have two packs, so hopefully that'll be enough. I'm going to spray the whole section with Lotta Body. And then as I go, I'm going to spray with water to reactivate so I don't overdo the setting motion. Okay, I'm going to comb the hair. Not that much tangle since I deep conditioned with the um, Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm. And I want to see how easy or how difficult this is. Get all the hair in there. It might be too much hair, I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, we're trying to get the bottom. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this is way too much hair. Now these things are nowhere near my scalp, um, so I don't know what I want to do. There we go. Kind of heavy like that, but um, I still need to see. Okay, I look crazy, but this is an alternative to blow drying and then flattering my hair. So I'll see what I have in the morning. Um, So they're pretty easy to take out. All you do is squeeze the top, unroll it some, and it slides out. Okay, so it's the end of the night, and this is how my curl former curls look. Um, they only fell a little bit um, because they were already loose. I think they're like wider 
and bigger than the other ones. The other ones look really skinny, like you can like take two of them, slide them into this, um, the circumference of this performance. And it did um, sprinkle a little bit today, but I wasn't caught in it. I took my headbands off because they were new and they were kind of too tight. But let me turn around and show you. I just got a little frizz. Still in the camera, sorry. So yeah, and they're soft and it smells good. Um, I didn't do anything with my edges. I just, I didn't use um, gel or um, pomade or anything like that. Edge control or nothing like that. And so, for it to have rain a little bit, um, it's not a lot of frizz. So when the weather gets more predictable, I can see myself using these often. I don't know, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm not going to, um. <sighs> I could try the pink curl, I don't know. Um, I'm just tired and I wanna take a shower and I wanna watch some Netflix. And then if I wanna do something with my hair, I'll come back. But if not, I'll just sleep and flatten it all down and see what I have in the morning. I don't even know what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. So, um, I'll be back if I do anything new. If not, Just finger to tangle a little bit. My hair has been in makeshift buns and ponytails for two days. Because it's been freezing and snowing all over again. And I, I was thinking about um, spraying this just on the section and working, but since I don't think I've gotten any faster since I've only used these once, um, I think I'm just gonna spray a spray on my hand get the section that I'm working with, rub it on there so I don't get a lot of reversion, but it's moist enough so it'll hold a curl. And hopefully in a couple of hours, it'll be dry enough. If not, it's going back into a ponytail. So, and I'm gonna try smaller sections than I did the first time. I have faith that this might be a little easier because my hair is, you know, more straight than it was. my hands together that I'm just gonna use the wide part of the comb and, and slide it through a little knot at the end Okay, so I'll be back when I'm ready to take them out. See you later.
Um, so that's not bad for one hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes of set. It took about 35 minutes to put them in. So basically some hair was set for an hour and a half, some was set for an hour. Um, so we'll see how it lasts for the next three hours working outside. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. Okay, this is six hours later. Um, the curls did fall quite a bit. But they're still in and um, I will hurt my finger. Um, so, it's very frizzy because the weather is just so crazy. It'll sprinkle, then be really humid, and then it'll be freezing cold and winds. But I do think my hair really held up, which isn't bad for an hour. So, set. yeah, that's the curls. So, now all I'm going to do is because um, weather is supposed to be horrible tomorrow, is just take my hair in small sections and wrap it around my head. And then, once the weather breaks again and get all spring like, like it's supposed to be. I'll use the other set of curl formers and then compare the different curls that you get, um, you know, compare and contrast. And that's it. I'm just trying to do something where I'm not scratching my scalp and I'm not using heat and I'm not over manipulating with wash and goes so that um, when I do my touch up, I don't have any scalp irritations. And since my hair has been under a wool cap or several wool caps and stuff for months now, I just needed a change of hair next couple of days I'll so be yeah using the other uh, set of curl formers and do a compare and contrast and maybe a day or so after that I'll be doing my touch-up so stay tuned thank you guys for watching see you later